Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at profiling in Python and we will see how we can use memory. So if you are familiar with the profiling in Python you uh, must be familiar with the C profile which allows you to take a look at how and what is happening behind the scenes when you are running a Python application. So what I would like to do is to basically show you how you can use memory. So currently I have a virtual environment uh, set up and I have uh, installed memory. You can do this by pip install memory. Once the package is installed, here is how we can use it. So basically we get the memory command line utility, which allows you to generate different files and use memory. So let's say we have a script called this test.py. And in this script, I would like to create a function, which is going to sum to million and n is equal to 1 underscore 0 0 underscore 0 0 0 and basically we will have a total and for i in range n we would like to use the total plus equals i and then return the total and we would like to call this sum to million and basically that's it. So if you shoot the python3 test.py you can see that this is the value. In order to run memory we can use the python dash m memray run test.py and now, as you can see, this is the output. Let me make it this full screen. So basically, it created a file called memorytest.py and that bin. And uh, yeah, generated profile results. We can gen generate reports from the stored allocation records. So for example, we could use this and let's paste it. And if we go ahead and check the folder, we will have this HTML file. Let's open up our file explorer and navigate here and open up the HTML file. Come on. It seems to be loading something, but after it is done loading, this is what we get. So this is what happens and how the resources are allocated in our file. <clears throat> we can check stats and these will show what the command line was, what the start time, what the end time was, number of allocations, frames, peak memory usage, etc. Let's modify our script. So let's move the uh, copy the test to test2.py and edit it with this one. Let's not sum it to a million, but rather create an array called temp. And we would like to use the temp.append i and return the temp. Now we would like to run our memory once again. And as you can see, it also created the file, the bin that we can use. And let's see what the frame graph looks like. So this is going to be the other one. And as you can see, we have a different 
information, so to speak. And if we take a look at the peak memory usage, it went from kilobytes to megabytes, which is a bit different. Uh, what we also have is something called uh, PyTest plugin. So basically what we can do is to use the pip install PyTest memray. Let's wait for it to install and why it is installing. Let's create a test folder. And inside the tests, create a nano test underscore a dot py. And what should we do? Let's call this a and assert true. And let's create a b assert false. And let's create a c and assert 5 equals length 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And let's see where the installation is. So now what we can do is to go and execute the pytest dash dash memory tests and if everything goes well we should be able to see an out output so there there are tests and we have the test a.py maybe we need uh, pytest.ini let's see so here almost let's create the pytest.ini and we have the pytest oh I don't want to use vi I want to use nano so pytest and we say that python files are equal to tests test underscore star dot py and yeah that's it let's see hmm this is not able to pick it up but why? Maybe Python 3 dash um, pytest tests dash dash memory. No. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we have it here. Why is it not working? We have the test file. A. Come on, Nano. No. Alright, 
I will try to figure out what is happening. Uh, we also have the option to run uh, memory in a na native mode. So we can call the memory run native test and let's call this test.py and basically this produces the same output as if we were to run our script with the python command and uh, we may also have yeah uh, something called live mode so memory run dash dash live test.py and voila this is going to give you a, well, basically a, a nice dashboard which allows you to see how a script is running which is I think pretty neat and we could also uh, use these modes if we had a module of which we are interested in seeing the the performance of and uh, <clears throat> yeah technically that's it so this is how you can use memory in python see you in the next one